this is the story about Thomas the Tank Engine, a cheeky little blue steam engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler and a short stumpy dome. He is the number one engine on the Fat Controllers Railway and has a whistle that sounds like this. So now you've met the hero of our story, let's begin our journey. All aboard for a big adventure. Happy birthday, Thomas! It was a sunny evening on Sodo. Thomas was puffing slowly to Marin Station after a very busy day. The fat controller was waiting for him. I'm sorry, Thomas, but you're not finished yet, he said. I have some urgent jobs for you to do. Yes, sir, said Thomas. I'll be as quick as I can. Thomas worked really hard. First, he pushed some trucks to the quarry. Then Thomas collected his coaches Annie and Clarabelle and took them from one side of the island to the other. Not so fast, said Annie. Slow down, Thomas, said Clarabelle. But Thomas was determined to get home to rest as quickly as he could. <laughs> it was very late when Thomas finally got back to Tidmouth Sheds. He was too tired to talk to his friends and he went straight to sleep. The other engines wanted to do something fun for their friend. Thomas has been working so hard, said James, and it's his birthday soon. That's right, exclaimed Percy, and I've got an idea for a big surprise. The next morning, the engines gathered in the yard with Bertie the bus to talk about the surprise they had in store for Thomas. I can't wait to see Thomas's face, said Bertie. The fat controller thought it was a wonderful idea. Don't forget it's a surprise, he warned Bertie. You mustn't tell Thomas. But Bertie knew he wasn't very good at keeping secrets. So later when Bertie saw Thomas at Knapford Station, he worried that he might tell Thomas about the big surprise. Bertie decided not to stay and chat. I can't stop! Bertie tooted his horn and raced off down the road. Bertie must want me to race him, Thomas thought, and he puffed off after him. Thomas loved to race Bertie whenever he could. Thomas's wheels went faster and faster and faster. He was catching up to Bertie when... Bertie turned off the road beside the railway and zoomed off into the distance. Thomas was puzzled. Maybe Bertie doesn't want to be friends with me anymore, he thought. The next morning, the fat controller asked Thomas to meet him at the steamworks. Ah, there you are, Thomas, said the fat controller when Thomas arrived. We're here because we need to smarten you up. <laughs> Thomas's dome was polished until it sparkled brightly. He was given a smart new coat of paint, his buffers were buffed and he was given brand new shiny wheels. Now you are ready, the fat controller announced. Ready for what? asked Thomas. It's a surprise, the fat controller replied. You'll just have to wait and see. As Thomas approached Napford Station, he could hear a band playing. Then he saw that the whole station was covered with colourful balloons and party decorations. All Thomas's friends were waiting for him. It's a special surprise birthday party, called Bertie from the platform. Sorry I didn't race with you yesterday, but I didn't want to give away the surprise. Everyone admired Thomas's shiny dome, his smart new paint, his buffed buffers and his brand new wheels. Happy birthday, Thomas! Everyone cheered. Thomas beamed from buffer to buffer. It had been the best birthday ever. That night, back at Tidmouth Sheds, everyone talked about what a wonderful birthday party it had been. But Thomas didn't hear a word. 
because he was already fast asleep. <laughs> 